Good morning, everybody. Oh, yeah, it's no crybaby ride share coming back at you from the beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It's currently like 3.30 a.m. and it's around 85 degrees. You may be asking yourself, why is this guy on the Rideshare Hub's channel? Well, I'll tell you why. Dylan came to me and he asked me to do a video that he could put on his channel in regards to my story on how I became a Lyft driver and a few points I like to make about rideshare in general for this video. So we'll, uh, we'll just go with, let's tell you my story. Um, my name is Roy. I'm obviously by the intro I am from Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, born and raised. Um, my story, as far as when I become a Lyft driver, well, it's not as exciting as some of these other people you may have seen on this channel, but I used to be a full-time uh, head detailer, car detailer at a local um, car dealership. Um, the car dealership decided to get new management. And um, as you can see, I'm not one to, um, as you can see with my personality, I'm not one to deal well with stupid people and uh, stupid shit. Um, so, um, me and new management didn't get along, and so I was let go from my job as the car detailer. But at the time, I had a car. So Lyft had just pretty much moved into Las Vegas. It was new. And so I decided, you know, I have a car. Let's give it a try. And so now, here it is, three years later, over 12,500 rides. Here I am, um, still doing it to this day and making pretty good money. I'm um, not going to lie, money has went down quite a bit, but, you know, I'm still making a living doing it, and a decent living, so that's my story. Like I said, not as exciting as most other people's stories, but hey, it's a story. <laughs> All right, so next up, let's say a few points I have about this job. Well, uh, let me start off with giving you um, um, a view viewer advisory, Okay. Um, what comes out of my mouth is from my experience and how I feel about rideshare and the things that I feel about rideshare. Um, so with that being said, that is if anybody here um, that watches this video either takes anything that comes out of my mouth personally or gets you know upset or butthurt about it, um, it is what it is. Um, I don't apologize for anything I say. Um, and if anybody has ever watched my channel, you understand how I am. I'm harsh. I come to the truth and I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Um, Dylan asked me to just keep my swearing down to a minimum. So I'm going to do that. But other than that, if you have any issues with what I say, whether it pertains to you, you get butt hurt, take it out on him. Don't take it out on me. He's the one that asked for this video. So like I said, um, I don't apologize. So my first take is. Anybody that chooses to leave a full-time job to do Uber or Lyft full-time is a fool, okay? You're leaving a job to come to another job that has zero benefits for you. You have zero benefits as far as any kind of health benefits, um, you know, unemployment benefits, um, any of that. Zero benefits, okay? Second, you're coming to a job where... You put your life at risk every day. You put your personal property at risk every day. And now you have the extra stress of putting other people's lives at risk every day. You know, it's one thing that you go out and drive with your shitty driving skills and hurt yourself. Okay. And now you got to take into account that you may be hurting other people, not just yourself. Okay. Um, so. Keep that in mind when you decide to do these things. Um, also, you're dealing with a company that puts profit above your safety as well as the customer's safety. Do you really want to work for a company like that? You got to think these are long, hard questions you got to ask yourself if this is what you want to do. But with that being said, for some reason, if you get that hair up your ass and you feel that it's your calling to be a full-time Uber and Lyft driver, here's a few things I, I will bring to the table for you. One, um, 
you're going to have to drive. Um, you're going to have to put your ass in that car seat. And you're going to have to put miles on your car, hours under your belt to learn to do your market properly. Okay, there's no going on, turning on the app and whoop, whoop, I got millions in my bank account. Doesn't work that way, especially with the way um, Lyft is keep breaking it off in our buttholes, you know, dropping the rates, taking away prime times or whatever the case may be. So you're definitely going to have to put the miles in your car and your ass is going to have to be in that car seat um, driving those miles um, to learn your market. Um, some suggestions I have as far as that goes, definitely do your research as well on your market. Go to your local Facebook pages. Um, always YouTube, definitely. Um, there's lots of videos on every topic on, you know, ways you may be able to earn more money. Um, but you also got to remember with YouTube is that not everybody works in the same market. Um, the tips I may give that work well here in Las Vegas, Nevada may not work well in Las Vegas, New Mexico. And you got to understand that. So, like I said, do your research on your market because it's your market that you're going to be working in and you need to work, work learn what works best in that market for you. <clears throat> also, a few other things is your car. Um, depends on what type of car you have, um, whether you have a van, whether you have an SUV, um, the different platforms you're able to work on versus maybe you're just being able to do UberX or basic Lyft. Um, all these are things you have to take in consideration when you want to do this full time. Also, with along with your plan is expenses. Learn, you know, learn to budget your money and learn what your expenses are going to be ahead of time. That means know how much gas you want to put in your car every day to make the money that you plan to make for that day. Um, like I said, it's not going to be turning on the app, making all this money. You need to set a plan for yourself, whether it's $150 a day, $300 a day, whatever the case may be, and how many hours it's going to take you to learn to do that. Um, and once you start learning your market better, your pay is going to get better as well because you're going to start getting more pings, blah, 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 you know, and then pick up that extra money. Um, so always keep those things in mind. Um, I'm not going to make this video too much longer. Um, like I said, my name is Roy. Um, I definitely have my channel. It's called No Cry Baby Rideshare. Um, it's not one of those channels if you're easily offended by, you know, foul language or, you know, somebody just giving you the blunt fork truth. Because unlike other people that I've seen on, you know, some videos and comments that, you know, they, they feel that you have to be a driver in order to have any kind of say on what happens in rideshare or what doesn't happen in rideshare. Um, well, trust me, I do drive rideshare and I've done it for three years, over 12 and a half thousand rides. So what comes out of my mouth, like I said earlier, is from experience of doing this job every day for the last damn near three years. And so, so, so anybody that wants to come on here and comment on this, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what? That's for you. Um, and, um, we'll just keep it at that. Like I said, definitely go check out my channel. Um, no crybaby ride share. Um, Dylan, I hopefully puts a link in the description of my channel. And also my, um, how was it? What, what long is it? Uh, oh, my, um, Gmail. Um, that way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm always happy to help. Unlike some of these other drivers, I don't have a problem helping people out. It's not about stroking my ego. I don't need to stroke my ego. Um, but, and we'll just keep it at that. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. And thanks, Dylan, for, uh, giving me the opportunity to throw this video up there for you. Um, I know it's going to bring some hate, bro. So if you do lose some subscriber, don't blame it on me, brother. All right. So this is No Cry Baby Ride Share out. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your eve. Drive safe. And remember, you are the creator of your own destiny. Nobody's going to do it for you. Goodbye. <laughs>